This is New Cap News with Lauren Pollan. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Police are searching for a 35 year old woman after she never showed up from a bus trip earlier this month. Sherry Robert boarded the bus in Meadow Lake headed to Prince Albert. Records say she got off the bus in Saskatoon and hasn't been seen or heard from since. Here is a picture of Sherry. She's described as Métis, standing 4 foot 11, 100 pounds. She was last seen wearing a pink tank top under a long sleeved gray shirt with gray sweatpants. Anyone with information is asked to call the Meadow Lake RCMP or Crime Stoppers. A former Century 21 employee is in some hot water arrested for laundering money from the real estate company. The 32 year old woman allegedly issued various receipts to customers for their transactions, but never deposited the money into a work account. Police say this went on for a year before the scam was detected. In total, Mounties say she stole close to $50,000. Fraud charges are pending. Our recent showers are good news for fires in the region. Due to the wet weather, many municipalities have lifted their fire bans, including Bonneville and the county of Vermilion River. For more information on any bans in our area, visit the Alberta Fire Bans website. Lakeland College is accepting over half a million dollars for renewable resources research. Bart Patiasek gives us an exclusive look at the new facilities it's going towards. The money for environmental sciences is going directly into the Center for Sustainable Innovation. To Lakeland administrators, the extra funds are appreciated. That money is going to be used to enhance the uh, infrastructure and uh, small equipment and tools for the site. So we're um, developing this um, Center for Sustainable Innovation. The money, along with matching funds from Alberta, will be added to the already $3 million project. Its goal? To develop a research and housing system sustained by only natural resources. The team of eight has a lot of hard work ahead of them. With solar, geothermal and wind power powering the house, the problem is less setting up the systems and more getting them to talk to each other. We want to also communicate with these different energy sources within the one system and then we can pass on that system to our uh, industry partners so they can use in their commercial, um, commercial products. Along with research, the site will also serve as a teaching environment for Lakeland Energy students. The team hopes to be fully operational in a couple weeks. There will be an open house May 31st. Bart Pediasek, New Cap News. And that strike action is playing a role in our region. While work stoppage is taking its toll across the country, it's also halting shipment from many local industries. Well, I mean, it's going to have an impact on uh, Canada's economy as CP does move a lot of uh, products and commodities and household day-to-day -day goods uh, from automobiles, grain, coal, potash, uh, you know, around the board, uh, stuff that everybody uses on a day-to-day -day basis. And the border city is also feeling the pinch. Um, with regards to Lloydminster, uh, we do have uh, operations up in Lloydminster that have been halted uh, with uh, some customers up there as well, not getting serviced. The walkout means tens of thousands of daily carload, carloads rather, will not be moving. Gerard joins us now with our first look at weather and that rain hasn't seemed to stop very much over the past 24 hours. No, we got a little bit yet on the overnights, but hopefully tomorrow it'll just leave us with the cloud cover. We did see a high temperature in Cold Lake t today of, of 10, actually. Mm. And at the moment, we are sustaining those temperatures, even with the wind around, would you believe? Let's have a look. Let's have a good look there. Six is where we're sitting at, even though the gentle pitter-patter of light drops on the prairies. 91% is that humidity. The wind gusting into the 30s at the moment. And as we compare across the region in Cold Lake and area, it's holding up. Cloud cover allowing that temperature of 10 to sit there pretty at. Seven in the Battlefords with the pitter-patter continuing on down. And for just how long it'll con continue for the next little while, we'll fill in those blanks a little later in the cast. Coming up, Lloyd Rescue lives on with a tentative agreement with the city.